Welcome to Endoscopy on Air. Watch Philip Chu treating a 70-year-old patient with echolasia by poem. And I will develop a uh, some mucosal tunnel all the way to the uh, gastric cardia uh, from posterior approach. So hybrid knife. So first I would uh, have to uh, make a mark. Okay, make a mark. And then I would have to uh, inject. Yes, I think uh, it's very important that uh, the first uh, insertion uh, incision should be uh, very careful. So not to uh, go into the uh, too deep, but uh, I think uh, this knife is uh, well designed so that uh, we can actually make a mark. So it's just one step. Uh, and then I can actually enter uh, with the water jet. I can create the space. Uh, we are now uh, using the endo, endo uh, cut uh, eye and uh, so uh, the uh, effect is uh, 133. So this is uh, more typical for the uh, TT knife that I use. So if I'm using the hybrid knife, I usually may change to 324, but uh, now I'm doing that. So and uh, with a spray coagulation. Now I develop um, the uh, mucosal incision. So uh, in general, I would extend a little bit more of the mucosal incision so that uh, I can have a better uh, circumference for me to enter into the submucosa. So for my for my practice, I usually would uh, uh, look at the uh, mucosa, and uh, if my cap or the circumference of the cap can catch the uh, mucosa, then I think I can enter into the uh, submucosal tunnel. Uh, it is uh, probably okay for me to get enter. So just a little bit more. So again, this uh, vessel is much enhanced by the LDI. So you can see that. Okay, okay, now I think I'm in. So uh, I will have to uh, stick to the uh, submucosa and uh, close to the uh, muscularis, inner circular muscularis probe here. So you can see here. So now I'm continue developing the tunnel. So. Uh, as much as injection as I want with the hybrid knife. So in general, I would, uh, if it is not in my way, I would try to avoid, but if it's in the way, I would cut it uh, in the soft side with a coagulation mode. In the gastric side, I definitely use a coagulation grasper because uh, at the gastric cardia, it tends to have a big vessel. But uh, for the posterior approach, uh, the, uh, it tends to be better uh, uh, because uh, the uh, big vessel in the, especially from the left gastric uh, artery encounter usually at the one o'clock position to two o'clock position. So if you're doing anterior approach, you will expect uh, some major uh, bleeding happening. And, uh, also my trick, so if you can see, I always uh, withdraw a little bit and observe the muscle fiber before I proceed. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, there is a probably a uh, little bit of a major vessel over here, but I can avoid that because uh, my direction is over more towards the right side of um, development of the tunnel. So I, I think I can avoid that. Now we started the uh, inner circular myotomy. So now I'm using the uh, hybrid knife. Okay, needle out. It's a T-type. Okay, try Hi, okay, thank you. Okay, so now I'm um, starting to dissect uh, with the uh, endocut mode. Uh, and uh, the effect is three and uh, two and four. Okay, so uh, very important that at the very beginning, at the first cut, it should be located around uh, uh, around maybe uh, one centimeter below the uh, mucosal incision, so that uh, the uh, inner circular myotomy won't uh, overlap with uh, the mucosal incision. And uh, after you can see the inner circular muscle fiber, I would uh, use the uh, T-type hybrid knife to hook it up and uh, perform the uh, myotomy. Okay, so generally I would uh, use uh, the uh, endocut mode. If uh, we worry about the bleeding, then uh, some coagulation before we cut. Hi, thank you. Okay, so very be careful about um, the uh, direction of the cuts. Okay, so now we can see that uh, 
there is a uh, outer longitudinal muscle fiber because I generally only do selective inner circular myotomy, so I won't touch the uh, outer longitudinal. So I just uh, lift uh, the inner circular muscle fiber in between um, the uh, outer longitudinal here, coagulate a bit and then cut. Now you can see uh, actually this is uh, what we mentioned as a Tanaka two vessel. So this uh, two vessel mark um, the uh, border of the sling muscle fiber. If we cut uh, over this side, we may enter, enter into the uh, sling muscle fiber. So in the posterior side, it is uh, commonly recognized. So we have to avoid and uh, cutting over the other side. But uh, sometimes the uh, space may not allow you to do so. So you may have to... Uh, you may have to coagulate the vessel. So now we have uh, completed the myotomy and uh, we use the RDI mode to observe. There's no bleeding from the muscle edge. Okay, so this is the proximal side and uh, this is the mucosal entrance of the tunnel. Okay, so the first clip should be uh, placed at the angle of the uh, incision, as you can see here. And the first clip is uh, probably the most important. So clear wheel and then uh, suction a little bit and then close the clip. Yes, and then not yet fire, but observe, and uh, I think uh, we are satisfied, so fire the clip. Okay, and uh, you can see uh, the clip is easily deployed. If uh, we are not uh, happy, we can uh, re we deploy it um, and we open and then the we deploy the clip. So we positioning. Okay, and then the close. Okay, we can see a uh, two edge uh, being caught and the uh, fire. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, now we finish the procedure. Thank you very much. The patient took a favorable clinical short term course and will be followed further. Here you see the devices and instruments used. And finally, this is Philip Jew's recommended reading.